ಮುಕುಂದಮಾಧವಾಯಧವಾರಿ ಪೋಲೆ ನ ಪೋಲೋರೆ ಬಂಧ ನ ಪೋರಿ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಯಧವ ಹರಿ ಭೋಲೆ ನ ಬೋಲೋರೆ ಬಂಧ ನ ಬೋರಿ ಮಿಚಿನಿಜಾವಸೆ ಚೆಲೋರೆ ರಾತಿ ಇವ ಸಾರಿ ರಸಾಜೆ ಬಸಿ ಚಲೋರ ರಾತಿ ಇವ ಸಾರಿ ರಸಾಜೆ ಮಾನ ದುರ್ಲಭ ಮಾನವ ದೇಹ ಭಯಿ ಕೋರ ಭಾವನ ಕೇಹ ಹೇಮಾನ ದುರ್ಲಭ ಮಾನವ ದೇಹ ಕಿ ಕೋರೋ ಭಾವನ ಕೇಹೋನ ಬಾಜಿಲೆಯ ಶೋರ ಸುತ ಚರಣಿ ಪೋರಿ ಬಿಲೇ ಬಾಜಿಲೇಯ ಶೋರ ಸುತ ಚರಣಿ ಪೋರಿ ಬಿಲೇ ಉಪನ್ನ ಹೊಲೆ ಆಸ್ತಿನ ಚಲ ಬೊಲೆ ಹೊಯ್ ಬೇಬಿ ಆಸ್ತ ಥಾಪನ್ನ ಹೊಲೆ ಅಸ್ತ ದಿನ ಚಲ ಬೊಲೆ ಹೊಯ್ ಬೇಬಿ ಆಸ್ತ ಬೇಖಿ ಬೇಖಿ ಬೇಲಾ ಚರಿ ಧಯ ಜೀವರ ಕಲ್ಯನ್ ಜೀವನ ಆನಿತ್ಯ ಜನ ಹಸ ಸಾಹಿ ನಿಧ ವಿಪದ ಬಾಹಿ ನ 
निद्राजा माया हिषिरा निद्राजा माया पिशाचिरा शादी माया नशी भर भाली बो बलिया से संसारा बीता रे भूलिया रोहिले तुम आविद्या बे रोहिले तुम आविद्यारा बे तुमारे लो से नो आवतारे लो ऐसे आमी नो आवतारा तो आमी बिना बंधु खे अचे तो शादी माया नशी भर लागी एनिओ शादी माया नशी भर लागी हरि नम महामंत्र लो तुम मागी मंत्र लो तुम मागी 
Bhakati Vinoda Prabhu Charane Padiya Bhakati Vinoda Prabhu Charane Padiya Bhakati Vinoda Prabhu Charane Pare Bhakati Vinoda Prabhu Charane Pare Se Hare Nama Mantra Lai La Magi The first one, Maharaj. The first one. Oh. Li 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 Ming Shi Fen Chang the Zanggo. Dang Dong Fang Di Ping Xian Shang the Dang Dong Fang Di Ping Xian Shang the Yi Mo Hong Yun. Different variant. Dang Ri Chu Dong Fang. Zhao Yao Da Di. 二次诞生者中的珠宝格尔孙德立刻醒来，他带着奉献者行遍乡间，走访纳迪亚的城镇和乡村。每当甘古发出“他太他太”的回响，脑波有节奏的敲响着。如狗狼的金色的身体因沉浸在神爱中而微微颤抖，脚铃儿随之叮当作响。如柴特尼亚对居民们呼喊道：“你们夜间把夜间浪费在无用的睡眠上，白天浪费在装饰的身体上。现在，用木坤的、妈的吧、丫的吧和哈瑞这些圣名充满你们的口吧，没有冒犯的唱诵吧。你们得到了含有的人体，你们不在乎这礼物吗？如果你们现在不侍奉亚收德的宠儿。”死亡的时候就会面临巨大的悲伤。随着每一次日出日落，一天天过去，你们为什么还这样无所事事，不侍奉心中的至尊主呢？人生苦短，短暂易逝，了解这基本的事实吧。所以，把托比于圣明，一直为圣明服务，当做你们唯一的职责。因为想要祝福所有灵魂。Krishna 甜美的圣明降临降临物质世界，如太阳般在心中的天空照耀，驱散愚昧的黑暗。畅饮 Krishna 圣明的纯粹甘露吧，以此满足 Bhakti Vinoda 的灵魂。在这十个世界中，除了圣明，再没有别的。狗嚷的呼喊道：“醒来，沉睡的灵魂！醒来，沉睡灵魂！”你们在玛雅女巫的腿上睡得太久了。你们进入这生死的世界时，承诺说：“至尊主啊，我毫无疑问会崇拜你。”但你们遗忘了这承诺，仍然留在愚昧的黑暗中。为了拯救你们，我降临这里。除了我，谁还是你们的朋友？我带来根除错觉疾病的良药。现在为得到 Hare Krishna 这伟大的 mantra 祈祷，并且唱诵它。Bhakti Vinod Thakur 倒在主狗狼的莲花足旁，在祈求得到圣名后，他得到了这伟大的 mantra。
Jai Srila Bhakti Thakur Ki Jai Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Naram Chaiva Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudhirayat Tato Jaya Mudhirayat Nasta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nasta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 11, Chapter 26. Today, text number 23. 今天读圣年不掉瓦谈第十一篇第二十六章，今天是世界二十三。Text twenty one and twenty two had no purports, so we'll just go to text twenty three. 因为前两个世界没有钥匙，所以我们今天直接讲第十节二十三。Adrishtad. Adrishtad. Ashrutad Ashrutad Bhavan Bhavan Nabhava Nabhava Upajayate Upajayate Asam Prayunjata Asam Prayunjata Asam Prayunjata Asam Prayunjata Pranan Pranan Samyati, Samyati, Stimitam, Stimitam, Mana, Mana, Adrishtad Ashutad Bhavan, Adrishtad Ashutad Bhavan, Adrishtad Ashutad Bhavan, Adrishtad Ashutad Bhavan. Nabhava upajayate Nabhava upajayate Nabhava upajayate Nabhava upajayate Asam prayunjata pranan Asam prayunjata pranan Asam prayunjata pranan Asam Samyati stimitam mana Samyati stimitam mana Samyati stimitam mana Samyati stimitam mana Adrishtad ashrutad bhavan Adrishtad Nabhava upajayate Nabhava upajayate Asam prayunjata pranan Asam prayunjata pranan Samyati stimitam mana Samyati stimitam mana Adrishtad ashritad bhavan Adrishtad ashritad bhavan Nabhava upajayate Nabhava upajayate Asamprayunjata pranan 
สัมพายิมชาตาปานัมสัมยาติสติมิธัมมานาสัมยาติสติมิธัมมานาอดิสตันอัสรุตัปปะบัมอาดิสตันอัสรุตัปปะบัมอาภาวะวุปัจายเตนาภาวะวุปัจายเตอาสัมภัยมิจฉาตาตานะชังยาติสติมิธัมมานาสัมยาติสติมิธัมมานาอติสตาอสุตาปะบันอติสตาอสุตาปะบันนาภาวะอุปัจจัยเตสัมภัยนิจตาปราณังอาสัมภัยนิจตาปราณังสัมยาติสติมิธัมมานาสัมยาติสติมิธัมมานาอาทิสตาอาสุตาภาวันอาทิสตา Ashtat Ashtat Bhavan Ashtat Ashtat Bhavan Na Bhava Upajayate Na Bhava Upajayate Asamprayun Jata Pranan Asamprayun Jata Pranan Samyati Samyati Smiti Simitam manaha, samyati simitam manaha. Anyone else want to chant? 还有谁想要唱？我来试一下吧。Adhista asuta pavan, Adhista asuta pavan, na paha va upajayate. Gita Gamya, do you want to chant? Sitarani. Adhista asuta pavan. Adhista asuta pavan. Na pava upajayate. Na pava upajayate. Asam prayin jata pranan. Asam prayin jata pranan. Samyati simitam. Shamyatistiyamana. Yeah, good. Yes. Adrishtad. Adrishtad. Which is not seen. Which is not seen. Which. 
没有被看见的，没有被看见的。阿舒塔，阿舒塔 ，which is not heard， which is not heard， 没有被听到的，没有被听到的。Bavat， Bavat， from a thing， from a thing， 从某件事物，从某件事物。No， No， does not， does not， 不，不。Bava， Bava。Mental agitation. Mental agitation. 心智躁动。心智躁动。Upajayate. Upajayate. Arise. Arise. 产生。产生。Asamprayanjata. Asamprayanjata. For one who is not using. For one who is not using. 对于不运用它们的人。Pranan, the senses, the senses, 感官，感官。Shamyati, Shamyati, becomes pacified, becomes pacified. 变得平和，变得平和。Stimitam, Stimitam, checked, checked. 被阻止，被阻止。Mana, Mana, the mind, the mind. 心意。Translation. Well, maybe we should read twenty-one and twenty-two first. You read the translation. Twenty-one and twenty-two. 第二十一节，译文：试图享受这具由皮肤、血肉、脂肪、骨髓、骨头。粪便、尿液和脓汁组成的物质躯体的人，跟普通蛆虫有什么区别呢？第十节二十二。然而，人即便在理论上明白躯体的真正本性，也不该跟女人或依附女人的男子交往。毕竟，感官跟感官对象的接触不可避免的会煽动心意。十节二十三。一文：眼不见而心不烦，耳不闻，心也不乱。所以。约束物质感官的人，其心意自动停止了物质的活动，变得平静。Text twenty three. Yeah, finished. Because the mind is not disturbed by that which is neither seen nor heard, the mind of a person who restricts the material senses will automatically be checked. In its material activities and become pacified. 心意不会因为看不见的事物而感到烦躁，不会因为没有听到的声音而感到烦躁。所以，约束物质感官的人，他的心意也自动的停止了这些物质性的活动，从而变得平和。Purport. It may be argued that even while closing one's eyes. While dreaming or while living in a solitary place, one may remember or contemplate sense gratification. Such an experience, however, is due to previous sense gratification that one repeatedly saw and heard about. When one restricts the senses. From their objects, especially from intimate contact with women, the mind's material propensity will slacken, and like a fire without fuel, eventually die. 要指，或许有人反驳说，即便闭上眼睛，在做梦或者在僻静之处，人还是会念念不忘，感官享乐。然而，这样的体会是因为以前不断的、耳濡目染的感官享乐造成的。当人约束感官，使感官远离感官对象，尤其是不与异性有亲密接触，心意的物质倾向必然会消弭，犹如火焰不会增加燃料就会熄灭一样。Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksura Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha 
Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupaka Dhamayam Dadati Sapadantikam Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yatapada Kamalam Shri Karun Vaishnavam Scha Shri Rupam Chakrajatam Sahagana Raganathan Vitam Tam Sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishaka Nitamscha He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Pandu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sate Devi Pranamami Hari Priya Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Tripa Sindhu Bhayevasa Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shanyavadi Paschatya Desatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadhi Kaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're hearing Maharaj Pururava offer these words of guidance to all of us conditioned souls in the material world. He is one, first of all, pointing out the nature of the material body. Now, when he talks about women, for the ladies, you have to think of men. Right. For a man, he has to think women. He has to, he has to be concerned. Not not when he looks at a woman, he has to think that they're not the body; they're the soul. 对于男性呢，当他们注视女女性的躯体的时候，他们不应该把他们当成女女性，而应该当成灵魂。And similarly for the women, they have to think men that they're also spirit souls. 而对于女性来说，他们应该把男性也看成是灵性的灵魂。Lord Chaitanya was asked how to recognize a devotee. 当主彩丹尼亚被人们 so Lord Chaitanya said, Asat Sangha Tyag E Vaishnav Achar, Stri Sangha Eka Sadhu Krishna Bhakti Ar. Lord Chaitanya said that a devotee of Krishna is one who is not attached to the material. Asat, you know, asat means what is temporary, what is material. 
Asad 意思是一个短暂的物质的食物。Sometimes we will talk about association with devotees. We will call it as satsang or sadhu. We say sadhu sangha. Sometimes we say sat sangha. 当我们说到奉献者联谊的时候，我们会用呃 sat sangha 沙杜桑嘎这个词。So sat sangha means to associate with the eternal. Satsanga 的意思是说和永恒的事物联谊的人。And what is eternal? Topics of Krishna and the holy name of Krishna. 什么是永恒的呢？是有关 Krishna 的话题以及圣名是永恒的。And we come together to chant the holy name and to discuss the teachings of Krishna. 我们聚集在一起来唱诵圣名，讨论关 Krishna 的事。So Lord Chaitanya said, "Nature of the devotee is they give up the association; they won't associate with the material." So Chaitanya 就说，一个奉献者就是那个已经放弃了跟物质的事物联谊的人。The material is what we would call gramya katha or the talk in the village. 物质的话题呢，我们称为是 gramya katha， 就是村里的闲言碎语。If you live in a village, you know, ladies in the village, they'll go to the river, they'll go to the well to get the water, and when they go there, they'll meet the other ladies, and naturally they'll talk to each other. 村里的妇女呢，她们会去河边或者井边去取水或者做事的时候呢，就会跟对面的妇女在那儿八卦。And they'll say, "Oh, how are you?" And did you hear about so? -and, and they'll, you know, they'll bring up topics about this person and that person. Ah, 咱们说，哎，你怎么样啊？你听说这件事了吗？啊，什么事情？然后他们就开始八卦这个人、那个人的家长里短。So that is what we call the the gramya kata. 我们就称之为是 gramya kata， 村里的闲话。Ah,、uh, we don't like the gramya. We like the Krishna kata. Gramya Kata will bring you back in the material world. Ah, this uh, village's 闲话呢，把你又很留在物质世界了。So Lord Chaitanya described that devotee is one who will give up the association of the material. 所以主彩丹尼亚就说，一个奉献者就是放弃了跟物质的话题来联谊的人。And then he went on to say, also he said, "Stri Sangha," meaning association with the women, meaning the opposite sex. For a man, he should be careful in association with women, and for women, they have to be careful in association with men. 接着主彩丹尼尔说 ，Stri Sangha， 嗯，对于嗯男子来说呢，就是跟。呃，女子联谊对女的来来说呢，就是跟男子联谊，就跟异性的联谊。嗯。And just as a man will be careful not to associate with women, he'll be careful also not to associate with men who are attached to women. 嗯，就像男人呢，应该小心的和女女女人女人打交道，所以女子呢，应该小心的跟那些依附于女女子的人男人打交道。And similarly for women, they will be careful not to be, get involved with men, but they will also be careful about women who are attracted to men. 而且对女人来说呢，她不仅是应该嗯注意前一个事项，还要注意不要跟那些嗯被被男子所吸引的女子打交道。And so association is very important. And that's how we recognize the devotee. That a devotee is someone who's attached to hearing and chanting about Krishna. So, the devotee is someone who's attached to hearing and chanting about Krishna. They like to read the books. They like to come to temple. They like to read the books. They like to come to temple. They like to read the books. They like to come to temple. They like to read the books. They like to come to temple. They like to read the books. So that's a good sign. That's a sign someone is attached to Krishna. This is a sign someone is attached to Krishna. This is a sign someone is attached to Krishna. This is a sign someone is attached to Krishna. 
if the mind is kept away from the sense objects, then the mind can be peaceful. 这世界说到了，如果感官呃心意心意如果能远离感官对象，它就能保持平静。Right, the sense objects means the things which we enjoy with our senses. 感官对象就是我们用感官来享受的事物。What do we enjoy? We enjoy well different smells, different tastes, different sounds. 我们享嗯享享受的是不同的滋味、气味、声音。And then different forms. 不同的形体。These these are all the objects of the senses, and our our senses naturally want to enjoy these things. These are all sense objects. Our senses naturally want to enjoy these things. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna gives instructions to Arjuna, and he warns he warns Arjuna about the danger of the sense objects. Um, in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna gives instructions to Arjuna, and he warns Arjuna about He says an intel an intelligent person will not take part in the sources of misery, which is due to contact with the sense objects. 智者不嗯不会嗯不会从那些就是源于感官和感官对象接触而产生的痛苦，会远离这样的痛苦。Is a wise man knows that such pleasures have a beginning and an end. 智者知道这样的快乐有始有终。The nature of material pleasure is it's temporary. 物质快乐的本质就是它是非常短暂易逝的。Just like this king who's being who's talking here in Srimad Bhagavatam, King Pururava. He got association with this woman from the heavenly planets, Urvasi. 就像在《布达巴塔》里嗯提到的这位国王普鲁拉瓦，他就和这个来自天堂的社交女郎 Urvasi 联谊。And he was enjoying sense pleasures with her for some time. 他和 Urvasi 呢在一起感官享乐了一段时间。But then she left him. She went back to heaven. Then Umar's son, 呢就离开他，就回到天堂。So he was so much absorbed in her. He was so attached to her. He wanted to go to heaven after her. So the king, 呢就是一心一意的念念不忘他，他自己也想去天堂和他在一起。And he was doing great yagyas and things, trying to go to heaven to get again to be with this woman. We see similar things in the Mahabharat in relation to Draupadi. We in Mahabharat, we see similar things in the Mahabharat. Draupadi was also a, a heavenly woman. She was not of this, really, of this planet. She was born from a fire. When, uh, when uh, was. It? Uh, Drista Jumna's father, Drupada, Maharaj Drupada, did the yagya, and he got a son, and to kill Drona, and he got also at that time the daughter. Hmm. So, when Drupada, the king, to do a yagya, to get rid of Drona, to kill his son. 这儿子的时候呢，这时候 Drupadi 也一同从祭火当中出来。他不是这个星球的人。So Drupadi was born from the fire, and、uh, she she was very attractive to all the men. Nature and just the, the aroma, the smell coming from her body was so captivating that men would would be. Oh, they would be completely disturbed and agitated, and they would be bewildered by the just the aroma from her body. So, um, Drupa, 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 de, 自然然的就会迷住所有的男子。他仅仅他身体的芬芳就令这些男子倾倒。And we see this 
done in the modern world, you know, they have so many perfumes, you know, you can get this perfume from, from France or whatever, eau de cologne, you know, make your body smell, because we are attracted, people are attracted, oh, what a, what a smell, what is that fragrance? So Draupadi, her body naturally had that. She didn't have to put any chemicals on her body. And so, of course, Draupadi, she was given in marriage, finally, uh, they had the archery contest and many men came, they wanted to marry Draupadi, it was a very difficult contest to get her for a wife, <laughs> you had to pierce the eye of a fish. And there was a wheel rotating in front of the fish to make it even more difficult. But Arjuna could do it. Karn could also do it. Karn, Karna, he was, he was the elder brother, but they didn't know that they were brothers. But Karna was not allowed to take part in the contest because he was not considered to be a twice-born person. He was not a Kshatriya. The contest was only for Kshatriyas. Anyway, Arjuna won the contest and he got Draupadi for his wife and then he was taking her home and when he got home he told his mother, he said, he told Kunti, he said, I've won a prize, mother, I've won a prize. So she said, oh, it's very good, whatever you've got you must share it with your brothers. So Arjuna so when they found out that, you know, what his prize was, that it was Draupadi, then, you know, they were quite shocked at first and they thought, oh, you know, how can we ever share a woman like this. Mm -hmm. But then Vyasadeva came and he said, no, it's all right, you can do that. And of course there were different conditions put, that they were to live, each of the brothers was to live with her for one year. Uh, mm, and there were rules about when they could come and see each other. But so she was married to the Pandavas, but there was this other king, Jayadrat. And this Jayadrat he was, when he saw Draupadi, he was just so attracted to her. He, he wanted her for his wife. And he tried to kidnap her, but she fought back because she was a strong woman and she fought with him. But but Jayadrat was a powerful Kshatriya and he, he got, he, he took her and when Bhima found out, then Bhima came after him and he caught Jayadrat and he beat him up badly. Mm. 
but it, this attraction with Jayadrata had for Draupadi was so powerful. Even though she's a married woman and she has five husbands, still Jayadrata was so attracted to her. And he got beaten up by Bhima because of it, but still he was thinking how he could get Draupadi. So in the purport here today we're told about how we have to be very careful to keep the mind in the away from the sen sense objects. So controlling the mind, sometimes people try to do things like going away from the world, going into a cave or going into a forest, away from everything. Mm, if you don't see, if we don't see anything for sense objects, then you would not be attached to sense gratification. But if we've had experience of the sense objects in the past, then we always remember the sense gratification we've had. One devotee came to Srila Prabhupada and he told Srila Prabhupada, he said, you know Prabhupada, Sometimes when I'm chanting, I will remember the things I was doing before I became a devotee, all the nonsense activities I used to do. He said, I'm chanting Hare Krishna, but still these things come in my mind. So Prabhupada said to him, he suggests, Krishna is telling you, if you ever give up Krishna consciousness, you have to go back to all those nonsense activities. In the Mahabharata, there's a story about one sage, he had a son. So he took his son away to the forest and he kept him, he didn't let his son see any woman. He thought if he sees women, you may get attracted to get involved with women, it will not be good for his spiritual welfare. So they kept, this, the father kept his son in the forest and they were like hermits living in the forest. So he it happened that the, there was a drought in the country and there was no rain and they wondered how can we ever get some rain? They said, they said, you have to do a yagya, but the person who does the yagya has to be very pure. So they thought, how to get somebody who is really pure, really powerful. Then they heard how there was this boy in the forest who has never seen a woman. And they thought, he must be very pure, he must be very powerful. But they know his father will never let him come into the city because there's so many women there. 
So they thought, well, we'll send some women into the forest to attract him. So they got these nice young women and they told them go into the forest and find this boy. So they went into the forest and the young boy saw them and immediately, oh, oh, who are these? What nice young friends. Oh, these are new friends. And immediately he, was, he didn't know they're women. He'd never heard women. He never heard the word woman. But he saw these young girls and he was thinking, oh, friends, I've got some friends and they're so nice. 然后这个男孩子呢，到在森林里一看见这些美丽动人的女子的时候呢，他就是天真的觉得，哎，来了一些新朋友。And so he was attracted with to them. He went off with them, and they went, and he went, and he did the yagya, and he brought rain. 于是呢，他就被这些女子深深吸引了，就跟着这个嗯这些女人呢去了城市。他做了祭祀, so we all have a past, we all have past lives, we've had many births, we have karma from many lifetimes. And we have the impressions that are there in our mind, in the consciousness from the past. 就这些过往的, and these impressions, they, they stop us from becoming Krishna conscious. Because of these past lives, past activities, these are what's control, keeping our mind absorbed in the material energy. And we have to control them, we have to get rid of all that dirt from the mind. And we do it by chanting Hare Krishna Mantra. Mm, we say Cheto Darpana Marjanam. The chanting of the Hare Krishna will clean the mirror of the mind. Cheto Darpana Marjanam. Just like over here in the harbor, you see a lot of water there. Just imagine if they were to empty out that water, you, what will be in the bottom on the seabed? There will be so much garbage, so many things. So our mind is like that. The deeper we go into our consciousness, the more there's garbage, so many impressions from our past. And we have to clean it all out by the chanting of Hare Krishna. Mm. And one, if we keep chanting and become attached to this holy chanting of the holy name, then we can forget all of these past impressions and we can fix ourselves on Krishna. Krishna so we should remember that the material energy is not for our enjoyment. And the more we try to enjoy the material energy, the more we suffer. With happiness comes distress. The more you're enjoying sense gratification, the more you suffer in the future. Just like two sides of a coin. Mm, there's, on, there's one, there's the head, there's a tail. There are two sides to the coin. So with happiness comes distress. 
快乐也越多，痛苦也越大。Just like winter comes, summer also comes. They, you can't have one. There's going to be both there. 就像冬去春来，夏季到来，所以不可能只是呃一个季节。One of our devotees went to. They were living. In, they're from Malaysia, so they went to America, and you know, in Malaysia, they don't have winter. They they only have. Tropical climate is always hot, you know. Yeah. So they went to America, and there was winter. And they, she was saying, "Oh, so nice, you know, winter. You in the summer wear summer clothes, and the winter winter clothes." Yeah, I, I thought horrible. <laughs> yeah, I, but she thought it's so nice to have different things. 有一个马来西亚的奉献者。他因为马来西亚是热带气候，从来没有冬季。他去了美国就觉得，哎呀，你看冬天真是太好了。嗯，夏天有夏天的衣服，冬天还有冬天的衣服。<笑> well, if you like distress, if you like happiness, you may say, well, why not some distress? You can enjoy the happiness more through some distress. So some. Sometimes people think, "Oh, it's okay. Some happiness, some distress." Ah, 有的人就说，哎，嗯，就是有点变化也不错，先快乐点，痛苦点，就是都都有点，来点。You don't mind, eh? you know? Yeah, I like happiness. No, no this distress, okay. You know, what's the big deal? Some variety. 对，那你有快乐。然后又有点痛苦，他们觉得这很正常啊，又有快乐又有痛苦，没什么的。Mm -hmm. So there was there was one king, you know, you know that King Chitraketu. He he wanted a son. He had no son, and he married many wives. He couldn't get a child. Then finally, he got blessings from Narada Muni that you can have a child. Then this child will bring you happiness, but he will also bring you distress. 就有这个国王切出 K 图王，他娶了很多的妻子，都没给他生孩子，他特别的苦恼。那儿的母女就祝福他说：“你会有一个儿子，但这个儿子会给你带来快乐，也给你带来痛苦。” So he thought, "Oh, okay. I, if I get a son, I don't mind a little suffering." 国王说：“嗨，反正我有儿子了，嗯，有点痛苦没关系的。” So the, this first wife gave birth to a child, and the king is so happy. He's got a child. Oh, my child! At last, I've got a son. The 首席皇后就终于给他生了个贵子。但是国王特别的高兴万分。他说：“哎呀，我终于喜得贵子了。” But then the other wives who didn't have any child, they were envious. 可是其他没有呃没有生儿子的皇后们就是。And、so they gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison to the child, and the child died. They gave poison Didn't think that the the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't think that the pain could be so great. He didn't 嗯，很多的痛苦和麻烦，到了老年也有很多的痛苦，到死亡的时候。嗯 ，just wait, just it's just now coming. 嗯，大家都等着吧， oh. 还没来呢。o k a y any questions? 那好吧，大家有什么问题、疑问？ Hare Krishna, 
在朋友圈也非常的热情，想要去分享一些灵性的知识，就自己的生活呀，穿漂亮衣服呀，呃，然后总是觉得吸引别人。看到 p r i s h n a 的奉献者过得这么快乐的生活，然后别人感兴趣一起来学习，但是呢，他们警告说，如果我们太多的去暴露自己的头像啊，自己的着装，可能会引起一些不太洁净的那那些男士们的不好的想法。那么就建议我们的朋友圈尽可能的不要发自己的头像，请问这样的建议是合理的吗？他的故事。嗯。So in spreading Krishna consciousness, some devotee, uh, women devotee, they will show their uh, features, picture their face uh, to be very um, attractive, beautiful, so that to uh, show the Krishna uh, attractiveness of Krishna consciousness. But some senior devotee warned that a woman shouldn't uh, expose uh, her feature so much. So that uh, um, there are some uh, dirty-minded um, men, there will be uh, there will be not so so favorable thoughts about these uh, women devotees. So uh, is that uh, warning or advice uh, okay, right or wrong? Well, you, you want to dress nicely for Krishna. Uh, yeah, they they put their picture in the WeChat. Uh, uh, in the WeChat, they have a um, we, uh, uh, friend circle on the WeChat. Every day they will uh, put the picture there to the, show us their own picture. Uh, the picture, the devotee, like the devotee who will put the, how they dress and there. Well, we should be more concerned to dress Krishna. Dress Krishna. Yeah. Dress the deities. Oh, we should be more concerned to dress Krishna. Dress Krishna. Yeah. You may spend a lot of time painting your own face. Ah, we may spend a lot of time painting your own face. Ah, we may spend a lot of time painting your own face. Ah, we may spend a lot of time painting your own face. Ah, we may spend a lot of time painting your own face. Ah, we may spend a lot of time painting your own face. Ah, we may spend a lot of But you should paint Krishna's face. But actually, we should paint Krishna's face. Paint the deities. To give Krishna's face a makeup. Dress the deities. To give the deities a makeup. We want the attention to be to Krishna. 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 At the same time, you have to be presentable. Uh, we don't want to be presentable. We 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 want to be presentable. King Puru Rama was so much attached to Guru Vasi. He tried so hard to go to heaven and all this. And then, how did he give up this attachment? And he realized all this. Is it because of this bad experience or because of association of devotees or what's the reason for this change? 普鲁拉瓦国王，他这么依附于天堂女子乌拉西，他最后是如何放弃了这份执着呢 ？Well, because he is a Shatriya, he was brought up as if he would get education in these things. 因为他本身就是一个刹帝利，所以他从小就受过这个教育。So at a certain point, he started to remember the education which he had received. 所以他在人生的某一节点，节点，他就想起了以前接受的这教育。Sometimes we see people come to Krishna consciousness, and they they're quite active in Krishna consciousness for some time, and they learn the philosophy, but somehow they go away, and they go off into the world of sense gratification. 
我们见到这种情景，就有的奉献者加入 Krishna 的知觉，特别的活跃，特别积极。他们得到了这些知识之后，他们又回到以前的感官享乐当中。But then, after some time, they come back and they they start. They say, "Yeah, I just." They start to remember the knowledge they had. They can never forget that knowledge, although it can be. Their devotional service may be suspended for some time. 但是后来呢，他们又回到 Krishna 的知觉当中，因为他们在 Krishna 的知觉中学到的这些知识，就还是在那里。他们只是的暂时的停中止了一段时间。The problem is we remember the sense gratification we've had in the material world. 问题就在于。我们对于我们在物质世界的那个感官享乐的体验念念不忘。You may remember your Krishna conscious education, the knowledge you got from Bhagavad Gita. You may remember that, but you're at the same time you're fighting against the desire for sense gratification because of the past, because of our past contact with sense gratification. 我们。可能，即便在 Krishna 的知觉当中有了知识，不像范哥的知识也有，但是与此同时，我们还在跟这个嗯感官享乐的享乐的这种体验、这种欲望在做斗争，还是不能忘记。So we we have to deal with the mind. We have to train the mind to accept the devotional path and to reject the path of sense enjoyment. 我们就要训练我们的心意，控制心意，让它。嗯，只专注于奉爱福的道路，而放弃感官享乐的道路。The more you try to enjoy the senses, the more you're going to suffer. 一个人越是努力的去从事感官享乐，他的痛苦也成也一样的，他是一样的会受苦。And we're told from the Bhagavad Gita that the desire for sense gratification is never satisfied. 儒家梵歌告诉我们。It burns like fire. 它就像烈火一样，熊熊燃烧。Sometimes people think, well, if I just have sense gratification for some time, then I'll be able to become a devotee afterwards. 有的人想，哎，我先感官享乐一段时间，然后我再当奉献者。Sometimes Prabhupada would preach to Indian people, and he would tell them. You know why don't you join our Krishna consciousness movement and help us spread Krishna consciousness? 有时候帕帕德对这些印度人传教的时候说，你们为什么不加入我们的 Krishna 知觉运动，传播 Krishna 知觉 ？And they would say, Oh Swamiji, just let us have some material pleasure first. After we've enjoyed some material pleasure, then we will become devotees. 然后这些印度男人就说：“帕帕德，让我们先在先先感官享乐一段时间，然后我们再去 Krishna 知觉那里。” And Prabhupada said, "Then the pigs should all be becoming devotees. The pigs." Pigs. 他们说：“那那时候那猪也有 Krishna 知觉了。” Because the pigs are enjoying so much. <laughs> they are eating all day, and they're having mating, mating everywhere, and having so many families, and they're having so much sense gratification. You 看那些猪，他们感官享，整天忙着，不亦乐乎，有那么多的伴侣，那么多家庭。But they never become devotees. 但是他们永远都成不了奉献者。And so it's just, it's just, a, it, this is all cheating to think that. I will, I will first have sex, and then I will become a devotee. It won't happen like that. So, they, they, this idea, I first get joy, then become devotee. This is a fool. It won't be like that. The more we try to enjoy the material world, the more we're destined to suffer. We are more 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 destined to suffer. So we have to remember that. We have to remember that. So sometimes we give the example about the men and the women together. That the women are like for for a man, women are like fire, and men are like butter. And for a woman, it's the other way around. 
，就我们举的例子是，就是当男女在一起的时候呢，嗯、呃，就是女子是火焰，男人是黄油。那对女人来说，嗯、呃，就是男人是火焰，女人是黄油。嗯 ，So Prabhupada said you have to put on your head. Keep in a cool place. 所以爸爸说，你们应该在额头上贴一标签就是，呃，在阴凉处冷藏。<笑> Then the but the butter doesn't melt, right? If you keep it in a nice cool place, it won't melt. 把黄油放在一个嗯凉爽的地方，这个黄油就不会融化了。And、so you women also, you can put keep in a cool place. So, so you, you 奉献者也在额头上贴一标签，保持冷静。啊哈，然的不行。我想问一个问题，刚才课程当中提到了我们要放弃这些物质的衣服，那我们成为奉献者之后，可能会对这个物质世界没有太没有什么依恋了，但是同时又发现对 Krishna 的爱又没有那么的深厚。这个就是，就自己内心也会会有一些想要深厚，但是却又做，就现在还达不到，这个怎么办呀？ Yeah, sometimes、uh, we we have、uh, no interest in material world, but still we doesn't develop so much love for Krishna. So at this stage, we want to deepen our love for Krishna. So, uh, may I ask, what should we do? At this stage. Well, that's why we're here, right? We're so, all here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here. We are just for this reason. We come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here to deepen our love for Krishna by hearing and chanting. Ah, we come here Yeah, you don't want Krishna enough. Because your 愿望还不够强烈 When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. When you can cry for Krishna, then you get that love. We can cry for our cars. 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 Okay, Hare Krishna, Sri La Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai.